Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. This video will change how you view coin tosses forever. A fair coin shows heads and tails with equal 50% probability. As such, it's the age-old mechanism for deciding things fairly. It was used to decide which Wright brothers would fly the first airplane, and it's used in sports to determine who will get the advantage that might win the match. But just how fair is a coin exactly? Imagine you have a coin that shows heads. Is it just as likely to show heads when you flip it? The answer is no. There's a slight bias to get exactly the same side. In 2007, a paper by Diaconis Holmes Montgomery suggested the human mechanism of flipping a coin introduces a bias. To understand it, think about hand tossing a pizza dough. If you throw the dough up and it spins, it will land back on exactly the same side as it started. The same bias can happen when you toss a coin. When you try to toss a coin and flip it, you introduce a slight wobble in the spin, which makes the coin slightly more likely to land on the same side as it started. The mathematics and physics of why this happens are tremendously complex. But in the end, they found a theoretical same side bias of 51%. If a fair coin starts heads, it will end up as heads with a 51% chance. If it starts tails, it will end up tails also with a 51% chance. But just how accurate is this theoretical model? A group of researchers just tested this out with one of the largest coin flipping experiments ever in history. A group of 48 people tossed coins of 46 different currencies and denominations and obtained a total of 350,757 coin flips. In each sequence, people started with a random heads up or tails up position. They flipped the coin and caught it in their hand and recorded the landing position. They then proceeded with the next flip and continued in a marathon of coin flipping. In case the coin was not caught in someone's hand, the flip was designated as a failure and they repeated the procedure. Out of all of this, they found a bias of 50.8% to land on the same side. But notice the coins themselves were not biased. About 175,000 of the 350,000 tosses were heads. In other words, the probability of heads was the same as tails at about 50%. The coins were fair, but there was a same side bias to the flipping of the coins. So what does this all mean for us practically? If you need to bet on a coin toss, make sure you bet on the same side. You'll have an edge to win. If you are the one making the coin toss, Try to hide the face that's side up so the person calling it doesn't know. This effectively makes the result random. Now you might consider letting the coin bounce, but that can have all sorts of other biases. Coins may spin, which introduce a known bias, or they may even land completely on their edge. You could also consider a simulated coin toss to avoid the limitations of physically flipping the coin. But no matter how you slice it, the result is that just flipping a coin is not a fair mechanism. There is a same side bias of about 51%. Whether you're the one calling the coin or making the toss, this is an important distinction we all should recognize. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.